Good day, fellow skiers. In this video, you're gonna be learning four foundational tricks and skills that you can build almost any trick on skis. I'm here with 15-year-old Monty today. How much freestyle experience or ski experience do you have? I've been skiing for pretty much all my life, but not freestyle. Yeah. So I think it's gonna be a challenge today, but I think it'll be fun. Yeah, he's been doing some racing and you can see it on his turns, they're good. But uh, freestyle is different. Yeah. Let's go to the park. Good work. All right, the first skill we're gonna learn is how to jump on skis. Since you're an ex-racer, right? Yes. I have a feeling you might be absorbing a little bit, and that's why I don't even bother looking at your skiing yet. We're gonna start from the basics immediately. All right, first thing we're gonna do is open our ski boots. And also the top strap. The reason we want to open our ski boots is that we get some more range of motion, so jumping in ski boots feel more like jumping in our normal sneakers. Look forward, arms out, like that, like you're skiing for nice balance. It's going to help us for, with spinning later on. And look at the landing. Absolutely perfect. Now, next time you jump, jump like one foot forward too. Practicing jumping forwards in your ski boots kind of make you also jump forwards more when you hit a jump, which is crucial in order to have a nice landing. All right, skis on, but the boots are still open. And then we're going to try doing a pop here. We still want to jump one foot forward. Quickly sink down. A little jump like that. Oh, it was really good. You see how the tails come out of the snow a little bit? That means he did a good pop, usually. That if the tails are coming up, that means you're gonna move forwards and hit that landing line, nice and perpendicular. All right, let's try this little side hit here. Do you see the line on the top of it, kind of? Yeah. Where you see the yeah, fresh corduroy? Definitely. When the toes hit that, that's when you wanna have that explosion up. We sink down into the boot, you know, to explode up. There's a movement we do, kind of last minute, and then just spring up. Pretty good, that was a really good first jump. A bit late though, right? But it looked like you were a little bit hesitant to, like as you go into the jump, but it was like you didn't really dare to flex the ski boots down and then explode up. You kind of want to flex them just like a springboard as you go up into the jump and then explode up and a little bit forward. So we'll try that again. Ooh. Really good landing. Look at that. The legs are like completely straight when the legs are touching there. But look at also where your arms are. They're kind of behind your body, aren't they? To get your arms forward on the takeoff, hey, think about it on the in-run already. And then I want you to try to land like this. Call it a four-point landing. Yeah, nice. And ideally, you want the pose to have a little bit of an angle, like backwards, so you don't land like that and poof. If you want to learn freestyle skiing, we do camps for adults down here in the description. Stop at camps. Maybe see it one. Ciao. All right, Monty, let's learn how to ski switch. It's not really a trick, more an important skill. First thing I want you to try, stand in a nice ski position, just feel it. And then now I will try to push the left leg back so that the hip twists a little bit towards the side and then point. That pointing helps to open the shoulders and help you see where you're going. In the future, we want to learn to ski and look only over one shoulder, but that's too hard at the beginning. So then you'll have to change for the next turn that you push the other heel back and then point to the other direction. That looks pretty good. Try to make sure that both knees are bent. So if they're too wide apart, the, the back leg is gonna get straight and that's not perfect. That's looking really good. Good position there, mate. Ideally, you wanna have a nice empty slope. First time you do this, so you point in the outside of the turn as you go up. It's a little off camber here. It's not perfect to practice this because I have to change too quickly. It's gonna look something like this. And every time I look up the hill, I see that no one's coming and it's gonna interfere with my skiing. Occasionally I teach a switch snowplow first 
but sometimes I just don't bother saying anything about it because it comes to people naturally. Good work. Try to make the turns a little bit longer. It's gonna give you more time to do the, the changes and feel what's going on. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Oops. Even closer together. You're doing all the common mistakes I want to show, like uh, forgetting the hip too wide, and also the turn shape. Now it gets a little bit wider for a bit, so we can make the turns also a little bit bigger, something like this. Legs close together, and remember to push that heel back. So you open the hip, and I still want you to point, and let the turns take a little bit longer. Stand a little bit more upright, up with the chest. Get that hand, nice. Really good. The turns when this key is the outside, you're really in control. Super nice. Now the, the other turn's gonna be good too. Just like any normal turn forwards, a good turn does start from the feet. And we start with the feet, into the hip, into the shoulders, and then lastly the neck, so you see where you're going. And then this all changing. And this is a lot of movements to, to learn, which you probably felt so far, it's pretty challenging. You regularly forget to get the shoulders or the hip, or they get too wide, it is tricky. Well done, Monty. Thank you. Your switch skiing is way better. Monty, what was the most challenging thing about skiing switch? Uh, for me, it was the weight balance because okay. it's a lot different from skiing forwards. Yeah. But um, I think the tip you said uh, about staying upright, yeah. I tried to stay conscious about that. And I think it really helped me with my balance. Yeah. My tip for the future, since this is the time we have to switch today, is spend some time doing it. You just need lots of repetitions. And once you can do that easily, you're ready to start looking over just one shoulder and try to turn both ways. But not yet. Mm -hmm. In the playlist, you can see the next video with Monty where he learns to spin and slide boxes on skis. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to learn more, check out our freestyle camps for adults, so far at least. <laughs>